Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So my tagline is, you never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training. I 100% believe that having top quality, top of the line medical gear can make a big difference in a bad situation. But also, you could have great gear and not have a clue how to use it, and it does you no good if very little good. So having that training, super important. So today's item that we're gonna review for you goes right along with that training aspect. Uh, this is a really cool uh, simulator that I like. We've been using it for a little bit here. And it's made in the USA. So you guys should be super happy about that. So the simulator is gonna come in this really nice case which is gonna help keep you protected and keep you organized, which is where I need the help, keeping all my training supplies organized. So we get some paperwork here that's nice and laminated too. That way if you do get blood on there, you can get it cleaned off. It gives you directions for mixing the blood contents here to make your own blood. Pretty cool. Some more uh, paperwork here just to kind of show you what all this one will do. So we have the ability to wound pack. We can also put a chest seal on it. Of course you have the tourniquet here. And then you can practice suturing. Like I already showed you, we get the contents to make the blood. You get one pack of galls, which you could obviously buy more of this, use the rolled galls, whatever you want to, just the training. Here's our bottle to mix everything, and then the trainer. The simulum has got some weight to it, so when you put it on a table, it tends to want to stay there. So when they're wound packing and kind of moving it around, it stays very stable. So here's the powder we're going to use to make our fake blood, and this makes about 500 cc's of simulated blood. All right, let's see here. It's flowing. There we go. Mm. Mm. All right, so since we have the simulator full of blood, let's go ahead and practice our wound pack in here. Trying to make a mess. Another idea you could use here is your chest seal simulator. So it's a great way to show the difference between a vented and non-vented chest seal. So you could apply this, you're going to be able to see the blood come up out of here. So you can see the air, hopefully you can see the air coming up out of the vent on camera because we're pushing all the air out of the simulator. So you can see it flexing back and forth, can you see that? Yeah, pretty cool. So you can demonstrate, show them the difference between a vented and non-vented chest seal. And it found a vent. Then you could also show them what a non-vented chest seal looks like. So, so the area I do need some more training in is suturing. I know just enough to be dangerous in this department, so I think the simulator is going to give me some practice with that as well. You have lots of different gashes and lacerations that you can work on practicing and suturing up. And I've been cleaning up a regular warm water and it still looks great. So if you'd like some more information on the Sinlim, I will put a link down below directly to their website. I appreciate them sending it to me for review. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.